Hi everyone, I'm Ying Sun Jia of Microsoft MVP. Today, I would like to share with you about using Azure Machine Learning Services to Cloud Accelerator Accelerate Deep Learning. Because uh, from the global AI, you, uh, a lot of people can't follow it, so that, so that I create one video about my session. Okay, for the requirement, you must have a Microsoft Azure account. If you does not have any Microsoft Azure account, please sign up for that one. For one, okay, and you can see that and here go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven step. Seven step you need to complete. Okay, I know you maybe don't have any experience about this, about Jupyter Notebook or uh, Azure machine learning so that I will show you the demo if you got any question you can comment at my video below okay let's go for them okay at first you go to the Azure machine learning I don't know Microsoft Azure portal at first you search for the search for the machine learning you select the first one machine Learning service workspace. Machine learning uh, studio workspace is the old one. You better uh, take a look for that one. It's almost same with the machine learning service workspace. Machine learning workspace will be more function than machine learning studio workspace. Okay, you go for this one first because later we need to use. Okay, I got so many subscription. You just add the machine, uh, your machine learning service workspace. You can enter some details, just press add. Okay, you just fill in then. After that, uh, review and create it. For me, I already create one. And here, AI night, September 2019. At first, you download the config.json Then after that, you go to my github repo Okay, github.com slash jia mm -hmm. Okay Okay, you go to repository Global AI Night September 2019. Okay, you can see that uh, I got one file, cloud.html, that one is the overall, all the results generated by the Jupyter Notebook. Okay, at first, you come to here, import the project from the GitHub repo from the Microsoft staff. If you want to know about deep learning and Python, you can go through the uh, go through you can download the file from the start.html. It will explain all about the deep learning so and uh, and also the PyTorch. Okay, we come to our Microsoft staff. I think you know him. Okay, you go to Azure the launch, you click this one. Let's check I got recording or not while waiting. Okay, got recording. Okay, you just import it. Okay, I need to log in with my account. I think I will log in. It's auto redirect it. You just uh, set it as a public because maybe you want to share with your friends. For me, I cancel it because I already have the project. Okay, let's go for Python's intro. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, at first, 
let's do step by step mm -hmm. let's see ah uh. I project I'll find those in intro to let me see yes okay this one then you upload the config.json from here from computer and choose file then you you upload the the config.json file that you have downloaded then after click done and over, after that you go to your project setting go to environment then the first one select requirement.psd the second one requirement.psd requirement.psd that means there's something there uh, some of the library of tools that need to use in the angel uh, in the uh, this lab and after that select the python 3.6 and please select cancel i think this already complete the three step import project and create the machine learning services was paying then go to the Azure notebook, Jupyter notebook, then change the environment. Okay. Then and download the config file, config.json file from the machine learning workspace and import to Azure notebook. This one already done. We still left a three step or four step. Okay. Okay, and after that. You click run on free computer computing resources. I know confirm the full word, but click that one. Be patient, everything. Okay. Okay, it's running, but I don't know why so slow. Maybe my network issue. And uh, you click the cloud.ipymb. Hmm, my one also so slow. Hmm. Hello. Let me check my network. Huh? Still okay, but don't know why it's so slow. Okay, I hear. Okay, okay, you click okay. Let me see it's correct or not. Oh, this one not. This one not the really project that I need to prefer. Okay, actually, it's by Dosh uh, intro. Okay, let's go for that. Leave that one. Okay. Don't want you to frustrated. Okay, I close up on the Python through project, and you go to a cloud or IPYMB. The Python file. But remember, uh, this one you don't have the permission. Uh, I mean permission. You go to the channel, change channel. To the Python 3.6, and after that, uh, here I think it put not trusted. Then you change it uh, to trusted, you just click enable it. Okay, after that, if in the original, uh, the VM size is the standard uh, NS6, that means that this virtual machine. This virtual machine will not in your uh, Azure subscription, but I change to the standard DS15 underscore V2. You must change it. You can see that I already mentioned it here. And after that, if you want to run the application, 
we need to step by step. Okay, at first, um, you run this one, then click run. Then this one also click run, the second step. You Every time you might measure this uh, step one already generate result, then I'll, after that only proceed the second step. This one is required you to log in with your device with a code. Then after that, you are running right and execute everything. And here, you will generate the result for you. Maybe dif uh, different si uh, data sign virtual machine, it will show you a different, but almost the same with the result but got a little different. Okay, you just execute until the end. It will show you that the accuracy is a 9 with a prediction that in, uh, right input from the user. Then it will show you the 9.237% uh, uh, accuracy. Okay, after that, you can save it and uh, save it. Then after that, if you want to delete this project in Azure Jupyter Notebook, uh, you can left, you can delete. Then, but uh, it will be charging uh, for your virtual machine. If you want to see just now, got any at the back end how the Azure machine learning uh, work, you can go through the experiment, compute and model and see that and also the activity is running at the back end, the log file okay, after that, you can delete this uh, Azure machine learning you just click delete that's all my presentation for today if you got any question, you can go through the, uh, my GitHub for the step by step. And if you still not subscribe my YouTube channel, please subscribe. Every, every month, I will share about uh, Azure uh, security in my channel. Sometimes I will upload the video about the AI. If you got any question, you can ask my uh, at the video below or comment it. Thank you everyone.